Hi guys, welcome back. Um, Jack here. What we're going to do today with a little video on fat burning. All right. So the first thing I need you to do is I need you to find out your maximum heart rate. On my chart here, this one's going to be your heart rate. This one is actually your age. So I need you to do 201 minus your age. I'm going to do mine. So I'm 26, which takes me to 17. Five, like that. Now that there is my maximum. I probably think I've probably gone just probably up to that before, but I need to find 60% of that. So 60% of that, I've already worked it out. Mine is actually 105 heart rate, HR. All right, now that should take me to around here on my chart, obviously. High heart rate, low heart rate, age like that. All right. Now, this being at sixty percent takes me onto my other chart here. This is the sort of ideal uh, heart rate uh, and uh, and sort of temperature that you need to be at for uh, for burning fat, because it also puts you into the right um, energy systems. Okay. So on my other chart here, this bottom is represent representation of time or duration of exercise. This uh, obviously is intensity. Now, with a nice high intensity, you don't burn a lot of fat because you, you're working anaerobically, you're using your muscles, uh, the, the energy stored within your muscles. The longer you draw out your exercise, the higher the fat burning will be. All right, so you actually need to be, um, like I said, it's 60% of your heart rate. <coughs> And that should get you into that uh, sort of zone where you're burning a more fat rather than carbohydrates. Uh, obviously, the longer you go on with your exercise, the higher your fat burning is going to be. So, for example, if you were to do an hour of kata by yourself, nice and uh, not slowly, but just medium sort of pace, maybe do your combinations. Again, there's, there's 18 of those. If you did five of those each time, then uh, you, you could obviously be working in that zone where you're burning some fat or even some light kumite, all right? All of these sort of exercises, which take a lot of time, are going to obviously hit that zone and that sort of heart rate where um, you can start to burn some fat. Now, um, I've got one myself. I didn't bring it with me today, but they're the heart rate monitors. They're, they're quite cheap. You can buy them online um, or in the shops. All you've got to do is push the button and it will tell you within a couple of seconds what your heart rate is. Now, they're, they're really good because it keeps you here in this zone of 60%, 65%. You know, you can go up and down with it, but you don't want to be up here, heart rate super buzzing, uh, and that means you're going to be in this zone and you're not burning any fat at all. You're just working on, uh, you're just training up your body in other ways. You need to be using oxygen, steady pace, doing your moves, <coughs> and obviously that will obviously get you in the right area to burn some fat, all right? Again, with regular training and that sort of knowledge, using your heart rate in these zones, you're gonna burn some fat and obviously hopefully lose, reach your goal and lose some weight, all right? Hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, we might do a bit more on this uh, another time, but thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.